Alright everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to be going through the best settings you can use for vlogging with the Nikon Z6 in 2023. Right now you're seeing me through it. My firmware is the 3.6, which is the latest version for the camera at the time of recording this video in mid-July. Anyways, let's get to the settings, then we'll go out and see what it looks like for vlogging. Let's go! <laughs> All right, so let's get into the settings. So the first thing you want to do to get the best settings you can every single time is make sure your camera is in manual. By doing this, you'll get the most control. Next thing, let's tilt this down. Once here, we're going to go to the video section and we're just going to go through section by section to make sure we're set. Obviously with the Z6, you can't get analog, so we're going to set it to portrait. I find that this gives you the best results. In terms of vignette control, keep it on normal. Active D lighting, set that to normal as well. For your focus mode, make sure it's on full time autofocus. Next, let's go to your autofocus area mode. Make sure it's set to auto area AF. This will actually enable face detect. Then if you're walking around, make sure you've got your vibration reduction set to sport. There will be a slight crop, but it's not too bad. And then on your electronic VR, turn that on as well. If you're shooting with something as wide as the lens I am, you won't really encounter too many issues with this. Next, let's go to microphone. I am using a DD D3 Pro set to 10. And for my mic settings, I like to keep them at three or two. Basically, you want the camera to be doing as little amplification with its preamp as possible because the mic has got the best preamp in it. Because we're gonna be shooting in manual ISO, you'll wanna set everything here as close as you can. And also remember with the Z6, you don't have a flippy screen. So definitely worth doing a test shot. For vlogging, I like to shoot in 4K, 24 frames. I find this gives me great results and it gets a nice little bit of motion blur as well. I've met my movie quality set to high. So once we're done there, we are going to go down to our shutter speed. And the thing with our shutter speed is if you have variable ND, you can get it to be double what your frame rate is. In this case, it's actually looking pretty good, but I don't want to shoot in F11. I want to get a bit more separation. So we're going to set that closer to F4 and then we're just going to pump up the shutter speed a bit. There we go. Now we can see the clouds. So that looks good. Now let's jump in and see what this looks like in real life. Foom. Well, I already made my first mistake. I totally forgot to pay for parking, but I guess this is how we'll start the uh, Z6 vlogging test. I hope this looks good. I'm walking at a pretty quick pace. Usually when you're vlogging and walking, you want to go a little bit slower, but you know, walking quickly so I don't get a parking ticket. This is what it looks like. And one thing I didn't mention is the lens I'm using. Right now you're seeing me through the 17 to 35 F 2.8 GED lens. It's a really old F mount lens. I've got it adapted on this camera with the FTZ2 adapter. It's a heavy piece of glass and it makes this whole vlogging setup definitely pretty weighty, but I really like how it looks optically, even though it's a pretty worn out old lens. But I definitely would say to get the most out of this lens, it's better to stop it down right around F4. That's what you're seeing me through right now. But you really can do 2.8, that's not a problem. Let's switch to that now. Now you're seeing me through F2.8. I still think it looks pretty sharp. You definitely wanna make sure you've got the uh, auto face detect turned on for vlogging, uh, just to make sure it's as sharp as it can be around your eyes. All right, we've officially entered blue hour. This is what the settings look like. We're at ISO 100, f2.8, with a shutter of 1 over 50, still shooting 4K, 24 frames. What do we think? I still think it looks pretty good in low light. And maybe you're wondering what it looks like with the IVIS turned off. This is what it looks like. No VR, no IVIS, nothing. This is just straight out of camera. Obviously, it's a bit wider of a frame, but definitely a lot more jiggle, especially if you're walking. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you found these settings useful for your Z6 or Z7. I would definitely say that I do wish that N-Log was unlocked on this camera and you can pay to have Nikon do that. But in 2023, with such an old camera, don't know if I want to spend the 300 bucks, but I still love this camera. It's great. I love it for vlogging and the colors look awesome. And also as well, please comment below if you've got any other settings that you recommend for other users. I'm sure we would find it useful. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views. Do it for yourself. I'm being killed by mosquitoes right now, so we'll see you in the next one. Whew.